I got you, wife. I'm a ride like my life depends on it. Here we go. First thing that you can see on my bike is the white wall tires. They're the V Tire Co Speedsters. Love those wheels so much. It just gives it like a like an old school look and I love it and I got to thank my wife for that. She went in ahead and uh, got me those for Christmas. Hey girl, love you. <laughs> and then uh, next thing is swapped out the stem and the handlebar for this uh, lower style just so I can kind of get that cafe racer style look. It's lower definitely for sure than the stock ones, but I think it looks cool. Uh, however, my back kind of hates me for it. In the headlight, I also actually replaced the bulb for a brighter bulb. It's hard to tell during the day, but it's a lot brighter than the stock one. And both like the uh, high beam and low beams work. Ooh, it's a windy day today. Oh, and for even more lights, I just added these like backfire lights. I just attached them to the fender, the front fender. Pretty cool. Don't really use them too much, but they do come in clutch. Swapped out the grips for these brown grips to go ahead and match the long seat. Love the seat, OC Cafe Racer seat. And of course the tank bag, got it on Amazon. It's practical because it holds my stuff and it looks cool. Makes it look like a little gas tank. And then I wrapped my battery in carbon fiber. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I love the seat. I love how low it is. It just, oh, I love the way this bike looks. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section down below. Oh wait, one more thing. Not really that big, but uh, on the passenger pegs here, I added a little bit of dope grip just so my uh, wife's uh, feet don't slip. And yeah, we're gonna go for a ride. So it is a very windy day today here in Northern Virginia, but it's still a very great day. A lot of people, a lot of doggos out and about. And the path that we're taking goes on for a while. It's uh, very popular up here. It's called the WNOD. We're actually headed to a food festival in the Mosaic District. It's an arts festival. Oh, it's an arts festival that has food. I mean, I care about art, but food though? Very windy day today. I hope that this mic actually, like the wind muff on it, stops the wind and you can clearly hear me or else this six mile journey for you will be uh, horrible. Yesterday we rode tandem like this to Washington DC and because it's been very windy lately, the cherry blossoms that we went to see, they, yeah, they looked like naked. <laughs> They're basically all gone, all the petals flew off. Still pretty, but man, we kind of missed full bloom. This wind did not help. In this area, there are a lot of Karens and Kevins. One time we were riding down here and some guy literally blocked the path in front of me and wanted and didn't want me to go on the path. He said that it looked like a motorcycle. And at that point, I actually had a basket on this bike and there's a bell on it. So like a basket and a bell. Does, does that sound like a motorcycle to you? What was the weather like that day? Oh yeah, and it was snowing that day and there was no one else on the road. And honestly, when I ride on these trails, I don't bother anyone and they do allow e-bikes on the WNOD trail. I looked it up earlier. So yeah, people are just, people just love being Karens, you know? So I just try to ride respectfully, stay within the speed limits. And I actually get passed by the roadies sometimes. So like, come on, you know, come on. Stop being a little Karen or Kevin. Ooh I, I'm, it's literally so windy. You're right behind me and I cannot hear you. <laughs> it feels like I'm riding in a hurricane. It's so windy. Oh. Yeah, we might be riding against the wind right now. But hey, at least the way back will be, you know, nice and quick. You get a lot of looks riding a bike like this from people. You break necks, either they think it's awesome or they think, you know, you're, you're riding a motorcycle where bikes go. If I was riding by myself, I think people will be more inclined to stop me. I think because we're together, number one, I can't go quite as fast 
so you know the speeds are more reasonable and if I was by myself you know people love attacking lonely people no one likes to attack a group so just having more numbers you know feels a little bit better oh that's cool look they're using the path to a longboard and to rollerblade what's up land yachts oh roller skate actually with a wolf dog me too i'm super hungry i can't wait to see the food vendors there is it supposed to be pretty big no oh man well food is food you know yeah yeah, Mosaic, the, the place we're going to has a lot of really good food. So even if this festival that we're riding to turns out to be a bus, we got some good food options around there. To backtrack to the conversation about Karens and Kevins, I want to know if you viewers had any situations where you had to deal with uh, an angry Karen or an angry Kevin, no matter what you're riding, whether it be a board, e-bike, EUC, what are your craziest Karen Kevin stories? Let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, that over there was a skate park that I went to in the last video. Fun little park. Not too much there, honestly, but because of that, no one goes there, so you kind of have the place to yourself. That guy that we just passed, that's the second guy I saw smoking a cigar on this trail. Cigar? Yeah. It's Cigar Sunday, I guess. <laughs> I wonder, like, if when riding and passing people, if they can hear what I'm saying. Especially in the wind, because it might be windy for me, but then it's actually very calm for them, and they just hear, like, really loud screaming passing by. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, why is he yelling? <laughs> From where we reside, we go east into DC and we go west, which is where we're going right now, to Mosaic District. The one thing about this path that I don't like so much is that it kind of just looks like this, like all the time, like the whole way. Yeah, towards this end, it's pretty boring, bland, just like a regular bike path, but on the way to DC, there's a lot more features and stuff it, it's actually kind of hilly too and there's some bendies some little twisties it's, it's a really fun ride uh, one of these days I'll do a video going down there actually probably very soon I'll do one maybe with a bike and a board sounds like a good idea oh I'm real worried about going through like paths that are under construction just cuz I don't want to hit a piece of like debris that causes a flat we're about 10 minutes away yeah, not bad, right? How do you feel cruising at this speed, 20, 25 miles an hour? Do you feel pretty comfortable as a passenger? Yeah, that's good. Well. Well. <laughs> um, we're supposed to cross the street and turn right over here. Yeah, we'll cross the street over here, but I don't like where we're going. The path doesn't seem all that great, but we'll see. Why? Because it's a sidewalk. There is a bike lane, but it's very close to cars. So I am not going to ride that bike lane with my wife because we're not ready for that yet. <laughs> Death, I mean. So we're going to be chilling here. At least the sidewalk is pretty big. So it's not like the smoothest. It's definitely pretty bumpy. So I hope, you know, our butts are okay. But, but at least, you know, we can't really get hit by a car because that is a pretty narrow bike lane, to be honest to you. If I was by myself, I'd probably ride on that because I'd be going faster, but not with her back here. Oh God, okay. I wonder if there's a way here on the right because I don't, we have no choice. All right, let's at least wait for a clearing of the traffic before we ride with the shared lane. All right. Here we go. Hope you're okay, honey. It's only for a little bit. Just hold on tight, dear. I got you, wife. I'm gonna ride like my life depends on it. Here we go. You're me more I'm making you more nervous. 
Ooh, oh, it's windy. Oh God, it's super windy. <laughs> kind of knocked me around a little bit. Uh, we're not at the part where the festival is. We have a little bit, a little bit uh, more ways to go. But we are near the metro station. Yeah, parking. Oh, parking's already kind of bad on a normal weekend, but with a special event where they take up some of the parking spaces, way better to drive or to bike. Oh God, it's windy in the open road. Over here to the right is Caboose, cool little brewery, uh, coffee house. I've had many beers there. <laughs> Woo! Look at that guy. That was sick. I finally got a little nod from a motor, a motorbike. I've been waiting for some acknowledgement. Normally I just cower in fear that they think I'm a little... Hey, are there any bike racks around here? This is pretty cool. I haven't seen anything like this in this area before. Food over there. Helmets off too, I guess. Oh, it's Jonah. Jonah! What's up? Oh, shoot. How you doing? Hi. What the heck? What's up? Hi. Hi. Did you guys ride together? Hi. Hi, Ronnie. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we rode here from home. Very cool. Yeah, she was on the back and uh, what is it? What that be? Oh, you can eat it too. I can, but I think there's cheese left. Don't worry about it. Cool. Oh, cool. What's there to do around here? Anything we should take a look I'm at? Super cold. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. That looks good. What Theo has? Yeah. What do you, What you got? You what you sipping on? Theo, what Theo, are you sipping on? Where'd you get your drink? That looks good. That looks good. What is that? Oh my god. Is this a smoothie? Yeah, uh, this is here. Someone yeah, somewhere. Yeah, Oh my god! I know, it's crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs>